Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode in the What If series. Now, this series I haven't done since last fall. And this series is basically is what if the college football always had up to a 16-team playoff. Well, we did 1869 where there were only two teams. And now we're in 1870. And I'm using Maximum Football 18. And I can't wait till fo uh, Maximum 19 comes out because the uh, improvements are just so mind-boggling compared to this. But we're going to do 1870. There are three teams, the Columbia Kings, the Rutgers Queensmen, and the College of New Jersey Tigers. Now, the College of New Jersey, the modern-day Princeton, receives a bye as they are the top team at 2-0 for the college football season. Rutgers at 1-1, one and, one, and Columbia at 0-2, I believe. As the game goes on, I'll go over some of this, the uh, information that I have based on Wikipedia. Okay, start. Settings U.S. College. Why won't this let me start? I have to be a team? I don't remember doing that. There we go. I just had to get both teams ready. Okay. So we'll head down to the field. After a year, the first intercollegiate football games occurred between Rutgers College, now Rutgers University, and the College of New Jersey, now Princeton. A third team, Columbia College, now Columbia University, joined them. This is um, straight from Wikipedia. You can look it up yourself. The rules at this time were based on football rules purchased, published by the London Football Association in 1863. These rules were the precursor to modern rules of American soccer, but they included elements similar to rugby football that would be important in the evolution of American football, especially in the 1870s under Walter Camp. So it's, I picked the rainy afternoon because the season was played in November, <clears throat> from November 5th to November 12th, so I figured that this would be sometime in November 19th or whatever. So Now, the Columbia team is completely fictional. I cannot find anything on them, on their, their based player names, numbers, whatever. So I went to Wikipedia and I uploaded, um, or I uploaded, I used 1850 names for events, births, and births basically for the Columbia team. I made no changes to the Rutgers of the Princeton teams from 1869 as I also could not find any information on those. By the way, over on Sack to the Future, the Bears and Rams will be kicking off very shortly at both the Terrors 89 and Phantom Fighter channels. So after the kicker turn, it is first and 10 for the Columbia Kings. We have first and 10. It's a different presentation than Madden, that's for sure. Motion goes. There's a handoff to the running back. He's turning around and running backwards. Gets by one, picks up three yards. I can't see the names. I wish I could see the names. I mean, like, you know, a toggle. Visually. I wonder if I can pause the game. No, I can't change any settings. Okay, well, I'll resume. I guess it doesn't. I went through all those. Oh, okay. There was a, a gain by Lottie, run by Lottie for a gain of three. The quarterback is back to pass. He throws. He's got a wide open man. Catches it and then jumps up in the air like a fool. Well, I, I I really hope that um, Maximum Football 19 is as good as uh, it looks. So that was a pass to Ishi, Ishi, Ishizuka for a gain of 19. This time the quarterback is in a bit of a shotgun. Handoff to the running back. Gets by one and then dives down. For no reason at all. 
That was Lottie on a gain of four. The quarterback is back to pass. He's going to get hit. No, he throws. And the guy who was in position to intercept it walked up a few steps and pointed at the ball and didn't intercept it. Pass falls incomplete. Back to pass at the quarterback. He heaves it out into the flat. It's caught. And he's going to get up to the th about fourth down and three yards to go. At the 50-yard line is what I was trying to say. So they're back to punt. That pass is complete to Wagner. And the ball is up in the air. I don't know why it's at night. The game should have been in the day. Team scored goals back in 1870 by kicking a round ball between two goal posts on a goal line. The ball was advanced by kicking it, although passes to players in front of the ball were not permitted. So you could not pass directly in front. There's a pitch out of the run. He spins. He's going to get up for a pickup of seven. And that's a running play by Gano. For a pickup of seven. It'll be second down and three. Man runs in motion. It's going to be an inside handoff to number two. Gives a huge hole and the first down. Again, you're watching What If College Football Playoff 1870, the opening round matchup between the number two and number three ranked Columbia Kings and number two ranked Rutgers Queensmen. There's a pickup of six yards. Under the 1863 association rules, any player could catch a ball that had been kicked or had bounced only one time but could not run with the ball. Following such a catch, that player could pass the ball to another player or have a free kick from that spot. If a ball passed the goal line without going between the posts, the team whose player touched it first was awarded a free kick. If that team was the defending team, the free kick was taken from the point of the goal line closest to where the defending team touched the ball. If that team was the attacking team, we have a fumble and a fumble recovery. Hi, Stonewall. And Columbia gets the ball back. So the team that went winless in 1870, 0-1, has the ball... And a first down. Back to the rules. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Where was I? Okay, the free tick kick was taken. If that team was the attacking team, it took the free kick from the spot that was 15 yards from the point of the goal line, closest to where the attacking team touched the ball. We got a completed pass, and he's going to pick up what looks like five yards on the completion. The association rules left certain fundamental rules of the game unspecified. The rules did not specify the size of each team, the duration of a game, or whether play would be subject to breaks. These and other matters were agreed by teams or stipulated by the home team prior to each game. As such, the association rules introduced a certain uniformity to the rules of football, but much like football played in the English public schools at the time, the actual rules applied varied somewhat game to game. So it'll be third down and one after that play for the Columbia Kings. Lottie picked up four on that last play. We're in the shotgun on this play. So what you're seeing, it's a first down run. What you're seeing is nothing like the actual game of the time. But that's okay because, you know, it is what it is. There's the inside give. Eight yard pickup. It'll be second down and two. That was a gain by Lottie for eight yards. Again, the, the players on the Columbia team are completely fictional. Nice run. He's going to get down first and goal at the one. Or at the one. Well, first and goal. Back to the season, the 1870 college football season. Nope. Sack to the future is going to be about 15 minutes away. The Rams are doing the practice. There's a pickup of three on the carry. It'll be second and goal. So, on Saturday, November 5th, 1870, Rutgers beat Columbia 6-3 on Rutgers campus in New Brunswick, New Jersey. A week later, November 12th, Princeton defeated Rutgers 6-2 on the Princeton campus in Princeton, New Jersey in a rematch of 1869 two-game series. To the end zone, and it's knocked away. Third down and goal for Columbia.
which could potentially be a long game. This is the what if college football playoff for 1870. That's why I'm going over the rules as I talk about it. It's a quarterback sack, and it'll bring up a fourth and goal from the actual 1870 college football rules. There were three teams. This is the third-ranked Columbia Kings at the number two-ranked Rutgers Queensmen. The kick is up, and it is good, and Columbia takes a 3-0 lead. So that scoring drive was an eight-play drive, and a field goal converted by Columbia for a three-nothing lead. That's pretty cool, bud. Yeah. Okay. Back to the season summary. Princeton was the only one of the three teams that did not suffer a defeat in 1870. Yes, this is college. This is Maximum Football 18, as EA Sports no longer makes a college football game thanks to a lawsuit brought about by former players. Maximum Football Canadian uh, Canuck Gaming out of, um, Van I believe, Vancouver started making this game a couple years back. And this year's version is actually it got Doug Flutie on the cover as the uh, title sponsor, and it's come a long way, a long way. So this, these two games series for 1870 will be the last two I do on um for this game and then when I get back to when I do 1871 it'll be on the next game okay where was I so Princeton was w only one of three teams that did not suffer defeat in 1870 and thus unable to claim or was able to claim to have had had the first undefeated season although it was 1-0 and <sighs> albeit having played only one game although it would be several decades before the idea of a national championship would take hold the NCAA has recognized three poll selectors the Billingsley Report the National Championship Foundation and Park H. Davis that retroactively awarded Princeton the 1870 National Championship and we got a long pass He's, he could be gone he's to the five touchdown Queensman Rutgers Scarlet a 6-3 lead over Columbia with that long pass Although only three teams participated in intercollegiate football in 1870, football was played as it had been for many years and with varying degrees of acceptance at other schools in the northeastern United States. At Vermont, the annual football game between the freshman and sophomore classes was held on October 5th. At Dartmouth, the faculty initially banned the sport in the autumn of 1870, but reversed course in late October. On October 29th, the faculty permitted a football match to be held, for which the school furnished the balls, made the regulations, and appointed an umpire. Other schools, such as Yale and Harvard, banned the game outright. On October 30th, football on the New Haven Green. Following the arrest, a group of 200 students gathered outside the police station and one student, Arthur Wilson, was seriously injured after being clubbed over the head by a policeman, Officer Kelly. A committee of students complained to the police commissioner who split two to two. The mayor abstained in bringing charges against the officers. That, my friends, is a summary of the 1870 college football season. We are in the first quarter as Columbia will get the ball back here on the return. He's going to be brought down at the 19-yard line. Then, okay, it's first and ten after the gain returned by No Name for. So, oh, that was a touchdown to No Name for 76 yards, and this pass is going to fall incomplete. Now, while we're we're talking, I'm going to try and find there is uh, somewhere online. I remember seeing. For rule changes to try and go over what exactly the game would have looked like had you been at uh, Rutgers, Columbia, or Princeton to watch college football in 1870. Why am I in the WWE network? Again, the winner of this game will take on the Prince or the College of New Jersey Tigers, aka Princeton. Oh, the quarterback almost sacked. He gets away. He's got to run. He's up to the 30. He's got the first down. First down run for the quarterback. That was a gain of Hung. Of 14. First and 10 at the Colorado 33. Columbia 33, sorry. 
pass is out. It's caught, and they're going to end up losing a yard. All right, let's see. Second down 11 after Ishizuka loses one on the pass. In 1869, each team for between Rutgers and New Jersey had 25 players per side, and you would score one point. And each each game was for each goal was a game, and you played 10 games. So the once 10 scores were done, and it was over. That obviously wasn't the the rule where games are 63 or 62, but in 1869 you'd get one point if you could get the ball over the goalpost. I don't see any rules. Uh, any changes for 1870 so we're gonna stick with that as the actual rules of that night second down and three after the that last play the quarterback throws a bullet is complete for the first down Rutgers is leading this game seven to three so this is where and I'm going to do an actual Vinny's take on this, but I believe that college football celebrating its 150th year this season really dropped the ball last week with opening the season with Miami and Florida. And I, I get Miami and Florida. They're great teams. It was a great game. They definitely deserve to be in the, in the on the field to open the season. But what they should have done, that was Saturday night. On Friday night or Thursday night, they should have ESPN, the NCAA should have convinced Rutgers and Princeton to play a game. Because they are the first ever. That's a pitch out. And he cuts back. He's got the first down. Rutgers and Princeton played the very first football game, a college football game, on November 6, 1869. They should have played to open the season, too. I know they're technically in two different divisions, Rutgers being FBS and Princeton being FCS, but FBS and FCS play all the time. The quarterback on the draw, he's going to get no gain. And we are under two minutes to go in this first quarter. And the quarterback's going to take a knee and tie a shoe. His hands don't move. He just his pads. Those are things that you should check out if you get a chance, Stonewall, to check out the uh, trailer for Maximum Football 19. The, the College Football is back trailer. It's, it's fantastic. Fumble! It's picked up by Columbia. He's tackled twice in a weird animation and gets to be third down and two. Third down and two after the fumble. Quarterback, Hong, back to pass. He steps up from the pressure, runs right through a guy, becomes a ghost and goes through a guy and gets the first down. You can't stop that Casper the Friendly Ghost play. When you when the quarterback goes invisible and runs through you, there's nothing you can do about it. Hong with a gain of two and a first down. Hong steps up to the center. Rucker shifts, motion by the Kings. And there's the give. He's going to pick up eight yards. It'll be second down and two. Second down and two after Lottie picks up eight. Hong back to pass. Throws a lob. Where is he going? Nobody knows. It'll be third down and two. That was a weird animation, that's for sure. But the difference between this game and Madden is a lot of the animations that dominate Madden don't seem to come into factor in the few games I have played with maximum football. It is third down and two as they motion the back over and then handoff comes back to the side. It's got the first down, spins around, gets down to the three yard line. It'll be first and goal. After Lottie picks up 10 on the game, first and goal from the three. We are under 15 seconds. Pitch out, Lottie cuts back. Lottie gets one yard. So here's an update from Sack to the Future. Both the Rams and Bears are ready. Those games should be going on your your YouTube notifications instantaneously. I'll be list watching it down in the bottom. That is the end of the first quarter with the Rutgers Queensman leading the Columbia Kings 7-3. Hong is brought down by sack for number 99, no name. That's one of the things I do like about the editing of this game is that if I had wanted to go with no names, I could make them all the same number, and it didn't matter. When I have a player on offense and defense with the same name, it I could give them the same number. Hopefully they keep that um, for maximum football 19, but I don't know. 
All right, so I received a party invitation to join Sack to the Future. I'm going to. As we wait for it to join. All right. So the game is paused. Hello, how are you doing, Terrors? Oh, there was a there was a touchdown on that play for Columbia. So looking forward to an interesting game between the Bears and Rams while I do this what if game. And the extra point is good and Columbia leads Rutgers ten to seven. That was a eight play scoring drive for Columbia. My headset's falling. Hello. Hello, Phantom. Hello. All, All right. right. I, I am ready. What? I hit, I hit searching for you, so. Oh. <laughs> My brain's not working. For some reason, I'm thinking that I need to click the button so I can get the broadcast ready before we actually join each other. So. Oh. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let me know let me when know you're ready to go back in. Uh, uh, well, I'm still in searching for right now, so maybe... Uh, okay. okay. That was a weird-looking handoff. Nice first down run, though, for Gano. Gano. If you are watching the Sack to the Future game, I'm going to try to keep my commentary minimal so that you can pay attention to that game, but when there's lulls between Terrors and Phantom, I will update you on Rutgers and Columbia. Columbia, Columbia what's, what's going, going on? on? I am doing a what if. What if the college football had a playoff since the beginning? It's 1870. 1870. Yep. Gosh. Columbia and Rutgers. There's only three teams. further back. <laughs> I, oh, no, no. I started with 1869 with this one. <laughs> no, I know, but I mean, every time I tune in. Oh, so he got, so this guy got tackled, gets up, and keeps running, kind of like the NFL in the 1940s where you could be tackled but keep going if your momentum hadn't stopped. That was weird. That was Gano picking up 13 yards. Uh, we're in week six, right? Yes. Well, uh, longest week so far of the year. Really? Well, we started about two weeks ago. This is the negative of having so many human-controlled teams that when our schedules just aren't meshing, it's going to take longer. Yes. You know, I've got the Cardinals dressed through jersey number 30 on for 64. The Bills are completely dressed. Wow. I have, uh, maybe Mike Dicka dressed. <laughs> I have, like, one player dressed. But that's all right. Yep. We got time. If our goal is November, we got time. Incomplete pass to bring up a third down and five for Rutgers. Okay, I'm ready to turn on the broadcast here. First and goal for the Queensmen. Back to the future, week number six. It's the Rams and the Bears, which means uh, Terrors 89's on the line as the Rams owner. But also a special treat, Vinny is on the line as well, Vinny X Wolf, although he's back in 1870. So yes. his comments do not make sense to anyone. I am talking from the future, from the past, I should say. Watching a college football game in November of 1870. Meanwhile, uh, Rutgers has taken a 14-10 lead over Columbia 
in this ancient college football game. The Rams, Rams coming come three, three one, one and one. one. The infamous, the infamous tie. tie. Here's here's my situation. Being that I'm in both divisions, I don't know who I want to win because I'm trailing both teams. Probably would rather the Rams win because the Packers are a little further behind the Bears than the Cardinals. Well, I don't know. The Cardinals are pretty bad. <laughs> so, good luck to both of you. Hope you both lose. <laughs> ah, well, well, the, the Madden Mad ratings show the Bears is a six-point six favorite. Did you happen to catch the Packers-Lions game from last night? I did. I did. That, that was, was uh, a pretty disgusting, disgusting display, display of <laughs> Packer football. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's a big run there. The Packers won 29-8. to eight. Since the Lions won the first one, I guess I'm ultimately okay with it. Yeah, we split the season series, but next week it is Bears and Packers. That's, That's true. true. All right, somebody just posted this joke to bad dad jokes. What is the only muscle a ghost can flex? Nobody? His glutes. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. That oh, good, credit for that goes to somebody named James Anderson. So congratulations, James Anderson. Ronnie Bull, Bull goes, goes nowhere. nowhere. Since I have no rosters to uh, actually look at, I'm going to enlarge you guys to full screen. This is the first time since week four where Merlin Olsen is. Were you able to oh, get... Good time. That reminds me, I've got to do the little thing with the Bills because I'm down to one quarterback. I think I'm just going to move Rakowski for a couple weeks. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't rate them yet. Though. Well, so, we're it's not this yeah. Week, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I lost to you. Oh, that oh, was this week. <laughs> yep. The Columbia's punting. <laughs> the punt is taken at the one and brought back out to the ten. That's where Rutgers will take over. I was telling, I don't know if you guys oh, have seen the, the trailer for Maximum Football 19. I can't wait till that comes out. It looks so much better than, the, than this one. I did, I did see, see the trailer. The trailer. It, does, uh, it does look, look quite, quite a bit better, better than the indie, indie games have looked so far. Over. Yeah. Well, at least well, he didn't drop, drop it, it, but he wasn't, he wasn't past the first down marker. marker. So, so the average, average offense of the Bears, Bears does nothing. nothing. But at least they, they didn't turn it, it over. So. With Bob. Rutgers will be punting on 4th down and 12. Oh. So were the Bears by looks of it. On 4th and 6. So seeing as though we're in two different times, let me propose this question to you. Which would you rather travel through time in, the DeLorean, the TARDIS, or the Time Machine from H.G. Wells' novel? <laughs> yeah. See, my problem, with, my problem with the DeLorean, as cool as it looked, is you never know what's going to happen when you re-enter, what you're going to hit. That's why I kind of think I prefer the Time Machine. Because you are sitting there, physically can see everything changing around you. The TARDIS, it's a giant phone booth. I, I'm not a big fan of it. There's another option. You could quantum leap, I suppose. 
Really that bad, huh? No, it was just, uh, <laughs> you know, Madden 18 makes you go backwards when you intercept the ball, but ended up not mad at her. My plug, I need my plug. And the uh, Columbia Rutgers game has settled down into a punt fest as Columbia will now punt on fourth and seven. Oh, shit. I just happened to look down at that interception. Nope, other end. Okay. Oh no, Columbia's gonna go for a long field goal. That is short. <clears throat> My team is very uneven this year as far as the offense versus defense. So I wouldn't be surprised. What's it? What's that? The five and zero beat the hell out of everybody. How is it on even? No, I mean, I mean, my defense is amazing. That's how I'm winning the games with my offenses. So like average. <laughs> well, that's that's kind of holy shit. So the guy here, the Rutgers player, catches the ball. The Columbia tackler's on top of him. The Rutgers player stands up and basically back body drops the Ru Columbia player down to the ground. Nice big run there for first down by the Rutgers quarterback. So the rules were different back then. Oh, much different, apparently. Apparently it was uh, full-on 1990s professional wrestling. Wide open pass, and Rutgers is going to score. Touchdown from 36 yards. And the Queensmen take a 20 to 10 lead. Yeah, I don't know if I were you if I'd complain about the offense. Oh no, no I'm not I'm complaining. Not complaining. Oh, I, mean, I mean, I guess I, guess I was, was kind of, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, just when I what said, said that, that uh, they, they punt again. again. That's pretty, pretty usual, usual, but. but if I ever run into a team that scores a bunch, or if I get behind, I think I might be in trouble with hmm. And the extra point is good, and here in the second quarter, Rutgers leads Columbia 21-10, to as they are the favorite. They should win. Although I can't change the ratings on these, this game, so it's really a crapshoot. Now, evidently in 19, I can. I tweeted um, the developers of Maximum Football, and IMG Gaming, and they said that you can not only change the uniforms, the equipment, but also ratings. I evidently am not live, because this is quite a bit further behind. Oh, another touchdown. Oh. Yeah, just another big six, even though it's back into the ball when I do it. As Ryan no, Moody 21 has pointed out, animations in Madden are what ruins the experience a lot of times. As they certain things yeah, cook in when it makes no sense. And you guys, yeah, one of you was saying that that, uh, that that's still happening in 20, 20 where you just, just catch the ball. Oh, uh, Terrace, so in that rivalry game that we played, he caught the ball with his, never looked at it. Caught a touchdown pass, he never saw the ball. We got a huge. And I've been able to. Well, you had that interception on me, even though. Didn't you have that? I can't remember. I had an interception where the ball was was underthrown, but the defensive back caught the ball like a weak skipper would be looking over his shoulder. I'm not sure if that was in our game. I know that in the the game against John with the Colts and Giants game, uh, there was. It was pretty even as far as stuff like that goes, but we did we both had the X factors lit up during the game, and it really, really you can tell. I mean, Saquon Barkley all of a sudden just became untouchable, and then he cooled off. I was able to get a, a gang tackle on him, which the good thing about that is, oh, there's a fumble, and Rutgers has the ball. Um, Pony picked it up, and he's gonna run. So it's college football, which you can get up off the ground and run apparently. So anyway. So, uh, I was able to gang tackle Barkley, and immediately his X-Factor was gone. So you have to build it back up at that point. Andrew Luck caught on fire. I'm throwing, completing, I'm putting passes in that, that just 
you know, you, you normally don't get to put in. But then I had a sack and the X Factor. Yep. So the X Factor disappears immediately once you get hit. Which well, I guess I, 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 I can understand, but. The, the, it, depends it depends what the factor is. So yeah. most of the quarterback yeah. factors, if you get sacked, you lose it. Yeah. Um, but, but there's, there's some, some other ways, ways to lose other things. things. I think yep. like some of the running backs, if you get hit behind the line, if you lose yardage, then you lose it, something like that. But it has to be that way, otherwise, you know, because they're so strong that if you just stayed in it all game, it'd be like an NBA game. <laughs> well, that is, I mean, that's what it reminded me of, seeing the X-Factor light up, it reminded me of NBA Jam catching on fire. Yeah. My next rivalry game, it will, I got the Bengals named and ready to be rated. It will be the 68 Bengals and Bills for me versus my son. Now, um, and I've told my son this, don't expect him to win right away. But I do imagine that I am going to be the villain in this series, and anybody that does watch will be rooting for my son. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> So the quarterback spins away for no reason, gets the first down. First down, Rutgers. First and goal. Well, the game ends up a lot different. <laughs> John's had a bad week. In fact, he hasn't won yet in week six. He was the wrong guy, but we were moving him around. So I he was... Yeah, that wasn't uh, some, some great, great trick, trick of mine or anything. It's because I turned into him. him at the uh, last, last second, second and I was like, oh, I'm this guy. <laughs> so I ran the wrong way at first. So the Queensmen are now set up with a fourth and goal, and we'll go for a field goal of 18, 28 yards. And it's good. Rutgers is taking a 24-10 lead. Ooh, two players in the same zone here. I was. Well, you got the first down, so that's what counts. Well, I was worried about because I did a hot route. Hot route. Yeah. And I was worried that my tight end was going to run into him. He wasn't the guy I was going to go to. Hmm. I said, "Oh, what the heck." We have reached halftime here in 1870. It's 24 to 10, Queensman over the Kings. The winner will take on the College of New Jersey probably tomorrow night on this channel. If you just join, oh, never mind. I lost the viewer. I had two viewers for a second, so. How you doing, bud? Good. Second down in. Their first down and ten, second and seven in the Bears game. Okay. Okay. Guy I wanted to throw to was still busy pass blocking while you were supposed to block the flat. That makes sense. Well, he, he had a delayed route. Wow, oh, a little too delayed, huh? He blitzed everybody. So. <laughs> oh. Fucking course. Does anybody on your team drop a ball on defense? <laughs> uh, uh, not, not today, today apparently. apparently. That's just amazing. Oh, we got an off sides on Columbia.
Well, the Redskins and Giants are both four and two. What are the Cowboys? Uh, it's a crazy division. Who else do they lose to besides the Bears? Oh, the Giants, yep. Yeah. It was, again, the phantom fumbles that just seemed to happen. Oh, I know John, he's good at pressing the R1 button. I can't seem to get my finger to move up to R1 in time to hit it. I'm so used to just resting on R2. But by the time I think, oh, go for the fumble, it's way too late. Have you guys seen that special on ESPN, A Lifetime of Sundays? It's part of the uh, NF NFL 100 series. It's very good. They're, they interview the four older female owners in the NFL. Virginia McCaskey, the Bears, Hunt of the Chiefs, Ford of the Lions, and um, Rooney of the Steelers. And, of course, McCaskey's 96 years old. 96? Yeah, yeah, no, she's yeah. It was an interesting show. They talked about her relationships with the players, especially like uh, Brian Piccolo and Walter Payton and how oh, the... I guess that's the end of the first quarter. I didn't realize. Yeah. Really yeah. Field goal out of Rutgers. It's now 27-10. to 10. The one thing I do like about this game, and I mentioned I think before you guys came on, is that when you're editing the, the players, you can give, let's say you have a two-way player, he can wear the same number on both sides of the ball. Now, I don't know if they'll keep, keep that maximum football 19, but... Of course, the hard part for that is the research in college football rosters is all damn near impossible from back then. Four, six defenses. <laughs> What did I go with quarter length? I just noticed there's seven twelve left in the third, and it seems like we, I thought I had seven minute quarters. Because I can't do eight. I didn't think I did fifteen because I can't skip in betweens. Okay. Oh, sad. Yeah. Play never needs to happen. Big defense in both games on that last play. And Columbia has to punt. So I did find uh, helmets for the 70s, 80s, and 90s on Madden 20. It's called the Scut Air Advantage. Oh, okay. oh really? Yes. Because we have... Oh, that's good news. Uh, I'm uh, editing the 68 Bengals for this rivalry game, and there's Bob Trumpy. He wore his pictures mostly of him in the 70s, so... I took my time and looked at all the helmets, and it's right next to the TK, R Riddell TK. Okay. okay. Rutgers has made a change at quarterback. Number 99 is in. Yeah. 
and he falls down. And it's nice to see the players get up and showboat in 1870, because I'm sure that <laughs> happened. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as Madden showboating. Bears only have 17 total yards. Actually, yeah, I was just going to say only one of his balls is actually hit the ground. And back to the college game. Columbia is facing a fourth down and six as their quarterback can't seem to hit the broadside of a barn. By the looks of it, though, you would also brought up your audibles. That was a weird looking thing, just a guy caught immediately in midair. The Columbia under and it's now Columbia. Wow, you were cutting up all throughout that statement. Oh, okay. The uh, Rutgers quarterback throws the ball, it's caught, but almost immediately he's hit, and the fumble icon pops up. The ball flies into the air. Columbia's player catches it and then gets tackled. So it was a weird looking play. The ball never hit the ground, but it was called a fumble. Second down and 10. Nice first down for the Rams. Hey, Andrew. What? You know how I was editing the Bengals earlier and I showed you Bob Trumpy? Yeah. Well, here he is in 1991 as a commentator. Trumpy, a bit of controversy at the concluding portion of the second quarter. The Jets are for half it ended. That was Don Crickey, not Bob Trumpy. But Trumpy's standing there. Mm. Not looking like a former NFL player at all. Columbia, third and goal. 
to the end zone. Touchdown, Kings. Columbia, originally founded in the 1600s as King's College. Today, known as Columbia Lions. And not known for their football. Although, if you watch ESPN at all, that dude, Marcellus Wiley, played for Columbia. So the two-point conversion is good, and Rutgers leads 27-18. Of course, by the rules of the game. Damn it. By the rules of the game in 1870, a two-point conversion is actually meaningless and would actually cost them. They would not. It would not count because you could only score by kicking the ball over the goalpost. Looking. What happened? To be a play action pass, a fake reverse play action pass, and Gabriel's running, and of course he gets fumbled because that's what's supposed to happen. That was weird looking. That, yeah, that, that was, was very strange. strange. <laughs> the icons, the icons never, never came, came up, up for you to pass. pass. I kept looking to try and hit it, and all of a sudden he's running and running and running. And the guy I wanted to throw to, wide open. But, you know. mm -hmm. Have you run that play before? No, I'm running a completely different. This is the Cowboys playbook in Madden 18. I've been playing uh, a lot of the Cowboys playbook in Madden 20. Okay. But it's still set. Play action. Sure. sure. Yeah. 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 I wonder if something's just wrong. I, can't play, I cannot play my regular, regular. My regular offense against you, but you beat my run and then go back. That's what happened in the Browns. And I can't run the ball half the year against the Rams. You know, I don't need the computer to help. Yeah, that was it was strange from the beginning, and then the other thing that was strange about it is even though he took our, I know Gabriel's not all world speed or anything, but uh, if he would have just taken off, it looked like he was going to get some yardage. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't remember the play saying he rolls out. I just remember the play saying that he takes the handoff, and then... Uh, So that's the end of the third quarter in uh, New Brunswick as the Rutgers Queensman lead the Columbia Kings 27 to 18. It's 10 minute games. Okay, 10 minute quarters. Well, I think I went 7 for everything else, so. Oops. Hey, yeah, yeah, where's where's on positive year here. Just, wow. Twitter makes me want to bash my head against the wall.
and so you quickly hit R2. Going backwards. And Rucker's going to be facing a fourth down. Seven forty two to go in the fourth. That might be the best punt they've ever had. Did you have the backspin on it? I uh, know, no, it's just one of those hikes. You just got lucky? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, even, uh, obviously, obviously I haven't rated, rated all the teams, teams but, but even, even the ratings I have done, them, they're already, already getting better in 64. Oh, come on! Wow. wow. Fuck you. Not you. <laughs> no, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. That's, that's, that's getting, getting a little ridiculous, ridiculous kicking people, people all the way down. down. That seems to happen, too. Especially to terrors. The fumbles at a for no reason. Has anyone, anyone ever gotten, gotten more, more points, points than yards? <laughs> well, I don't know. If anybody, probably maybe the 2000 Ravens. They went through the stretches where they didn't score offensive touchdown in the whole month of October. I just messed up the game. But. Oh, I know, but they yeah. might have in one of those games. Yeah, it's, yeah, possible. it's possible. Maybe, Maybe the Super Bowl. Bowl. I don't remember. The Giants, the Giants offense, offense doing much, much at all on that one. I was looking at the 96 NFL playoffs getting ready for the um, month of October, September in our group. And in the wild card game, we actually have a Super Bowl quarterback matchup. Starting quarterback versus starting quarterback. It's Brad Johnson versus Troy Aikman. Not exactly one you'd go down and remember throughout history, though. So Rucker's still sticking with his backup quarterback, and it's intercepted by Columbia... Oh, so with five minutes eight seconds to go, Rutgers leads twenty-seven eighteen. One fucking block to make seventy-three. Hey, look, 
I didn't notice. So I, wasn't even, I wasn't even being rushed. Fumble by Columbia. Oh, Jesus. And he gets up and runs. This guy looked like he was trying to be Superman diving through the air, slow motion. Between all the injuries and the stuff, I have no desire to. A while you just jinx yourself. Yeah. Probably be Merlin Olsen because you know he just came back. Yeah. Do you have all four back yet, or are you still missing one? No. Of course, it could be like Bob Lurley where the game put forth Bob Lurley to play and uh, then re injured him. Touchdown Columbia, they're trying to make it a game. Is now 27 24 with 327 to go. They're going to go for two again. So, again, in 1870 rules, they would get no points for this touchdown at all. The two bike conversion is good. 27 26 Rutgers. Ah. Apparently, uh, Phantom's rooting for Columbia. What's, what do you got against New Jersey, huh? It's a, it's amazing that college football started in of all places, New Jersey. All offense intended to everybody from New Jersey, and I will be there in three weeks. I can't wait. <laughs> We're going to the Bills Giants game. Me and John M and our fam and our it's an adult game. Me, John M, and a couple other adults. It would be my first time to the Garden State. Try and stay out of the swamps. Benny. 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 Atlanta defeats Toronto nine to four. It was a long freaking game, four hours. No fumble? Mm -hmm. Rutgers gets a first down, 315 to go, they got a first and ten. As Ball picks up the completed pass. Yeah, there it is. Huh. Not, Not sure, sure if I'm, if I'm embarrassed, embarrassed or, or <laughs> uh, proud of it. Well, if Buddy Ryan were on your team, he'd probably be punching your offensive coordinator. <laughs> uh, oh, buddy. Oh, three 
Rutgers just burning clock. Another first down run by the quarterback. That would be Leggett picking up the first down. Well, now we need to get some serious injuries to guys that count like Doug Atkins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, the Packers play the Bears next week. <laughs> oh, uh. Willie Gallimore. Rutgers with a touchdown late in the game. Takes a 33 26 lead. And fireworks going off. How are you doing? Two thirteen to go in the contest. Rutgers leads thirty four twenty six. Based on the scoring of the time, Rutgers would have six points and Columbia would have just two. Under two minutes to go, Rutgers has a second down and one. Oh, Columbia, sorry, Columbia has a second down and one, and then lob pass thrown into one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it just falls incomplete. Okay, bud. Quarterback sack. Got a no name. Also four and two, I know three. Yep. After that start, after that 0 and two start to semi-pro teams, they've come back and have beaten Packers, the Oilers, and the Saints, and have scored points against the Saints and Oilers, like a point, of, you know, 47 and 42, I believe. Rutgers with another touchdown as time is expiring. Oh. got a notification that the PS4 was going to enter save uh, power save mode because I hadn't touched it. And 
And the extra point's good. It is 4126 Man, the present day Scarlet Knights. Whoa, what? What? What the fuck ever? That, that is another is thing that looked like wacky. You climbed right over the top of him. Was that legal? I don't know. <clears throat> is that legal? I'll make it legal. Star Wars oh Episode my. One. As time's expiring, the Columbia player is going to go 78 yards for touchdown. Not sure why the Rutgers guy following him didn't dive. He was one foot behind him the whole way. And the two-point conversion is good. So once again, no points allowed and are given in 1870. 41-34 with six seconds to go. Or 7-2 to under 1870 scoring. 7-2. Seven. Seven, two, two. Yep. The only points that counted were the ones that, where the ball went over the goal back then, so extra points field goals would be the only things that would count in modern day football. So going for two is useless if I was, you know, counting the 1870 score. Either way, Rutgers wins, so it's not like it's a big change. Oh, and still two seconds left. Rutgers up by seven, as long as they don't throw a, pull a John M and go for a long pass. They should be okay. We're calling it pull a John M now. Yeah. <laughs> and he runs for a five yard gain, Leggett, and that's the end of the ball game as the Rutgers Queensmen advance, defeating the Columbia Kings forty one thirty four. They will take on the College of New Jersey Tigers for the eighteen seventy oh. national championship. Until then I'm Vinny Vincent. Sack to the futures in the background. You can go catch out the remainder of the game on the Terrors eighty nine or Phantom Fighter channels. God bless America.